Now let's move on to another concept that is divisibility, divisibility, and factors. So the first thing you need to know is that if a number is divisible by any number d, that number is also divisible by all its factors, all d's factors. So what I mean is, if let us say I have a number, anything 1, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, and if I say that this is divisible by 15, let us say, I don't know whether this is, it will also be divisible by all of the factors of 15. What are the factors of 15? 1, obviously doesn't matter, 3, 5 and 15. So this number will be divisible by each of these factors. That is the prime factors. But also it's not only necessary that it should be a prime factor. So for example, I take a number, let us say 880 and this 888 and this number is divisible by 8 which means it will be divisible by the prime factors of 8 would be 2 only 2 prime factors but it will be divisible by all the factors of 8 so it will be divisible by 1 1 it doesn't matter it will be divisible by 2 it will be divisible by 4 and it will be divisible by 8 so all factors is not necessarily prime it is divisible by all factors of that divisor d that is the first thing now, if I am supposed to find out whether a number is divisible by any number, what I can do is, if let us say I want to check whether it is divisible by D or not, I can find out two factors of D which do not have a common factor between them. So, A and B, where A and B do not have a common factor. And if the number n is divisible by both a and b, it will be divisible by d. So let me take an example to tell you what I am saying. So let us say if I have to check whether any number n is divisible by, let us say, 15. So what I can do is I can find out two factors of 15. So let us say 3 and 5. Now 3 and 5 do not have a common factor. 3 and 5, if I take the HCF of 3 and 5, that is going to be 1. So to check the divisibility of 15, all I need to do is check whether it is divisible by 3 and 5 or not. If it is divisible by 3 and 5, it will be divisible by 15. So let me show you what I mean. If I say, if I'm, let us say, checking whether a number is divisible by 8 or not, though I cannot check whether it is divisible by 2 and 4. This is wrong. So you should be able to understand why this is wrong. Because 2 and 4 do have a common factor. The HCF of 2 and 4 is 2. Hence, I cannot use this approach. This can be used only if the factors do not have a common factor. So, I can take any... Uh, so, they do not necessarily need to be prime. So, for example, let us say I want to check if any number is divisible by 72. Now, 72 I know is equal to 8 into 9. So I need to, and 8 and 9, though are not prime, but 8 and 9 do not have a common factor. So HCF of 8 and 9, so there is no number which can divide both 8 and 9. HCF of 8 and 9 is 1, which means they do not have a common factor. Hence, if I want to check the divisibility of 72, I can check whether it is divisible by 8 and 9. If the number is divisible by 8 and 9, it will necessarily be divisible by 72 also. So this is one test that you can apply when you're checking for divisibility of large composite numbers. Obviously, this is this will work only for composite numbers because otherwise you will not be able to find the factors at all.